Bella Berta, Chris Martin, magic. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joanne. I like to do commentary, reviews and rants on music videos, interviews, articles and anything else that takes my fancy that I'm interested in. And I also do natural hair videos very randomly now and then. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you. I didn't know how badly I wanted this collaboration to happen. I didn't even know it was a collaboration that would ever happen. But I'm glad it has happened because it's amazing. <laughs> These are two artists that I love individually and it's like honestly it's amazing that they both come together and made an amazing song like it's a hit song yeah i won't make this video too long because um i'm very late for uh, a lunch date <laughs> sorry monster you made you can interpret this any way you like but for me i feel like it's a song for african specifically nigerian liberation and a call for revolution I just found the imagery to be very poignant and very hard hitting. Burner Boy is one of the very few artists that I very much look forward to his music videos. I just feel like personally music videos just aren't what they used to be. Just not what they used to be anymore. A lot of music videos are just very lazy, very like all the same and just, yeah, they don't interest me. But Burner Boy is one of these artists that I really do look forward to his music videos and I feel like he has certain songs that just fit, that just have to be listen to while watching the music video and this is one of his songs that i feel this is one of the examples of another example of a song that i think the music video go blah, blah, blah. i think the music video goes with perfectly is dangote if you haven't seen that video definitely watch it, it just just tugged on my heartstrings it just oh it just goes with it perfectly i don't know who his um creative director is or like whoever helps him with these concepts but like excellent he needs to keep them on his payroll <laughs> he just has a way of getting his message across even more like the song is powerful on its own but the music video just amplifies it and just you know gives visuals to what the song represents like i can just imagine this song being performed at like the brit awards or like the vmas like i can just imagine the production they, that they could do with this song how it would just energize the room and just get everyone like pumping and, mm, mm, mm. yep i just imagine like black power i just imagine blm i just it's a lot i just it just fills me with black pride, African pride, Nigerian pride. Now from like interviews and statements that I've read and I've heard from Burna Boy, he seems to be a pan-Africanist, although I don't think he's ever outright said that he is, but a lot of his ideas and his, and he speaks sound like very pan-African ideals. Um, I have nothing against pan-Africans, I just don't always adhere to that idea but i really do feel like this song um is a great representation of that i think that black people across the black diaspora can identify with this song in their own unique way in each society that has black people there is their own struggle and i feel like this song can definitely um a lot of black people can identify with this in their own way i've said this in a previous video i feel like burner boy has a great way of representing modern day africa again specifically modern day nigeria i'm gonna keep specifying nigeria because i really do think it's important to to, um, normalize naming African countries by their names. I'm not trying to exclude any other African country but Burna Boy is a Nigerian artist and most of his music videos are shot in Nigeria and I just personally feel like I identify with this more as a Nigerian. Like I think that he represents Nigeria in a current day that's not, number one, not romanticized, it's not Wakandanized and it's not mysticalized. <laughs> and it's also, it doesn't show like just the poor of the poor and the poverty. It, I think he shows it in a well-rounded way. Like he shows African Nigerian excellence but he also does highlight the problems and current day issues that Nigerians and Africans do face. Um, and I think he does it like again hats off to his team to his creative director to him he, they do it in such a way that is just honestly i really really do respect it and i really do appreciate it like the government is a massive one i think we can all um appreciate the corruption that goes on in every government all over the world but just Niger the nigerian government i think they outdo themselves honestly when it comes to corruption <laughs> new ways to just be uh flabbergasted and just shocked at the levels of corruption and yeah it's almost comical thanks to the internet and social media i am able to keep kind of up to date not very much don't ask me questions too much about nigerian government and policies at just very surface level i can see what's going on wasn't it like the other day there was one politician that was pretty much auditioning for some nollywood scene <laughs> It's ridiculous. 
ridiculous like it's it's really sad and people laugh about it and make memes because you know that's how we deal with struggle like as a people for some reason we like to, we like to laugh at our own struggles i guess it makes it easier to deal with but beneath all that laughter and you know jokes and stuff you know people are angry and they're like frustrated and this song is really a call to action and revolution people want change and they bloody well deserve it now this video wasn't like super high budget and you know there wasn't a bunch of special effects and it didn't need it didn't need it it was still effective i appreciate that like the imagery of the organized well-groomed unambiguous dark-skinned men and women i live for i just think there's just something about when you just show blackness in such an unapologetic way just undiluted and it really is empowering especially for the women to see dark-skinned black women that are shown in a like a positive well done way they weren't the ones leading the charge being warrior princesses they were just being you know just a couple of them alongside the men and obviously burner boy was like the leader of them i liked his red pieces i thought that was very like powerful imagery but for me like what was very powerful was when they had that stack of money and they burnt it for me that was just that was representing like taking down capitalism as you know we can make many links to capitalism in the in the role of racism and oppression one of his lyrics that really stood out to me is i'll read it out right now i'm probably gonna butcher the way that it's said because the way that he says it just flows and yeah probably thought we were fools when we would break all the rules and skip them classes in school because the teacher them teaching what the white man them teaching them european teachings in my african school that was very very powerful to me now i know from like watching some of his interviews that he's he did say that he just didn't find school interesting and like you know he'd skip some classes because you know later on in life he could look back and see that he just wasn't interested because he didn't see representation of himself or his history his actual african in history not what europeans came over and like you know hijacked the education system in africa to this day education in african countries it is a lot of it is um, European history. Nowadays, people are taking more of a stand and an effort to find out their actual history, their own history, and to prioritize that and teach their children that, which is amazing to see. But he's pointing out that, understandably, like imagine being in Africa in a classroom with people who look just like you, but then you're learning about people who oppressed your, the whole continent <laughs> and you're supposed to like write papers on them and seeing them in like a uh, co <laughs> completely twisted positive light like it's weird it's just it would it would mess up anyone's mind that just really represents what colonization has done it's one of the you know there's many many different ways that colonization has affected the whole world and specifically the continent of africa but the education system is a massive way that colonization is still in effect you know representation is very important and you know there's just you could have a whole series on on why representation is important like it just gives it gives children a sense of pride and self-esteem to be able to see themselves represented in a positive light uh throughout history and in current day and then ending perfectly is that clip um there was this clip that i saw go around on instagram like a few months back it's on youtube as well i'm if i can find it i'll link it in the description but it was basically like this um older african woman she's actually a world-renowned Ghanaian author by the name of ama ata edu and she was basically talking about how you know the europeans came and they stole all these different things like the cocoa gold ivory like she listed off all the things that were stolen from the continent of africa and that they pretty much didn't get anything in return except for poverty disease etc i might include a little part of it right now since we met you people 500 years ago look at us we've given everything you are still taking it's true i mean where would the whole western world be without be without africa our cocoa our timber our gold our diamonds our platinum our whatever everything you are is us i am not saying it it's a fact and and in in return for all of this what have we got nothing I remember when I watched that a few months ago and I was just, it made me really sad, but at the same time, you know, it, it's making you aware, you need to be aware of these things so that you're not living a lie. I just think it's, it's important to be aware of what was taken from black people, from African people, and then, you know, we can move forward to regaining what we have lost and being even stronger and rebuilding ourselves. I'm really glad that this song came about. Again, Chris Martin, I just something about his voice. 
it's just mesmerizing i love it it's nice to hear burner boy kind of touch on a slightly different genre than what he usually does i still need to listen to his twice a tall album i need to listen to the album in in its whole i will get around to it but i really do like this song and i hope that it gets the recognition that it deserves i think that's the end of this video so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and make sure you're subscribed to this channel i'm trying to get to 500 subs help a sister out <laughs> so i'll see you in the next video guys